Hey you guys, welcome to my craft studio. These projects are going to be awesome if you know someone who's into playing poker or shooting pool or going bowling. And they're definitely going to come in handy for Father's Day or birthdays or party invitations or party favors or even just using all the individual elements for scrapbooking. So some of our 3D items in this set look pretty impressive and you might be worried that they're complicated or hard to put together, but I'm going to show you how to put them together and you'll see that it's not hard at all. So let's get started. So first I'm going to make the die and I use my trusty AC cardstock in black and white because it's my favorite and it always just cuts so well for me on my cutting machine. First I'm going to put together the top part of the box. So I'm just going to put glue on the little tabs and this one's shaped kind of funny because I, I didn't want it to stick out underneath the circle right here but it's just a regular old tab like you've seen before so that forms the little box and this one is so self-explanatory but you just put the uh, glue on the tabs like usual And I'll just flip it over and push down and make sure it's lined up real nice. And the bottom of it just goes together the same way. So I'll just do the same thing. So just glue all the tabs like I did with the last one. So then the top will fit on the bottom. But since this hole is empty, you can also use this little piece that comes with the bottom and just glue it around the edge and put it in place inside the top. It's just a nice little finishing touch. Okay. So now let's make the dartboard box. I've already put my dartboard together so I'm just going to glue all these tabs in place to form the box shape. So I'm just holding it so that the glue dries nicely before I make it slide around or anything. Okay, so that forms the box shape. Now I've got my two little darts that I've already made. Here's the final one and it works kind of just like a regular dart in real life. So it kind of works just like a regular dart. These two little slits just go like this. So then I'm just going to glue down my darts in place. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and I'll just glue it down like that and put them wherever. I've already got the front of this little bag assembled. So this is the back and this is the part that goes inside. So I'm just going to glue all of these tabs in place onto the front and the back. Pretty easy. So I'm just putting glue on the final three tabs. I've already got my back on. And now I'll just place this on top. And when it starts to stick, I will just flip it over and make sure that it's pushed down. So before I glued on my bowling ball, I did a little shading around the edges of it with a black ink pad and I went real heavy on the bottom as if it was a real shadow. And I also did a little bit of tan shading on these and some embossing and more embossing on the shirt. Okay, so the final thing for me to show you is the pool table box. I've got all my pieces cut out and I'm going to take these three pieces make up one side of the pool table. I'm going to glue them together like I glued these three together to make it nice and sturdy because it needs to be strong. So for this I used AC cardstock except for the front layer I used some textured paper from the DCWB stack textures and finishes and if you've got some like paper that looks like wood or something it's kind of fun as long as the back layer is brown because you're going to be seeing that. And if it's white it's okay but brown is better. So this is the trim that goes on the front of the pool table 
and it's three pieces that go on top of each other from largest to smallest because it just adds some nice dimension kind of like on a real pool table how they have some nice wood trim on there so I'm just going to be real careful and just get it right in the center okay so I'm just going to put the final top layer on this piece of trim and you can see I've already done that to this other one here so we'll let that one dry a little bit so I'm going to put this piece of trim right here not right on the bottom but a little bit above the bottom and I'll just put the straight piece above that so this is the part of the box that's going to go inside of the pool table to hold whatever goodies you're going to put in there so as always I just glue all the tabs in place So now I just want to put some glue on these final three tabs and put the bottom in place. All right, so now I'm going to glue the front and the back on to the box. So here's the lid on my pool table. This bottom brown layer is just one piece and I've got some layers on top. I've got green and I have a frame and then my cute little pool balls. So now I'm gonna glue these tabs in place just to form a lid. First you're gonna glue these four little tabs in place. Okay, this is the fourth tab. Okay, now you're just going to fold all four sides over to make a nice strong edge. So for this little pool cue, I'm just going to fold all the places where it's folded and I'm going to glue it in place with the tab. So this is what it looks like when it's done. Super fun. And I'm just going to put a layer of glue on here and put it down. So I'm going to glue this cute trim on both sides of the lid. Okay, so I've got it on both sides and the lid just goes right onto the bottom. Super cute. So there's my cute little finished pool table and this would be cool to put some cigars in or some little treats and that was a lot of fun. So thanks for watching and I hope you join me next time.